Hey everyone, it's Blake Bundy here from Winning Solutions Inc. And today I will be bringing you guys another Microsoft Access Expert Template Walkthrough. I will be showing you guys where to find the template database on our website, how to download the template database demo, and how to use the demo properly. Most of our templates are not designed to be used on their own. Instead, they are designed in a way that makes it simple and smooth to integrate it into an already existing database that you have already been using. You can also build a more robust Microsoft Access database that is built around one of our templates. If you would like to create a new database that is based off of one of our templates and don't know how or do not have the time to do so, let us know and we would be happy helping you with getting the database that 100% fits your needs. With most of our templates that we offer, there are three different versions that you can purchase. A compiled runtime version, one for internal use, and one for unlimited developer use. Our, our compiled runtime version is a run as is version without the paid full version of Microsoft Access using the free Access runtime from Microsoft. It can be integrated into your existing Access application, but you would not be able to make any modifications to the forms, the reports, the modules, etc. This option is more for those of you who do not see any need to make any customizations to the template. Our internal use version allows you to use or modify the databases however you wish within your organization. And last but not least, our unlimited developer use version allows you to use the database template however you wish for any applications you develop and distribute the template as part of a database you create. Winning Solutions Inc's templates have a strong advantage over shrink wrap software that you purchase from a store or website. With our templates, you receive the source code along with your purchase so you are able to customize and update the database as you please. With shrink wrap software, you do not receive the source code when purchasing the software, which means that you cannot update or customize the database as you wish. In our video today, we will be working on a demo version of our database template. A demo is a simple way that you can view and try out our database templates so that you can determine if you would like to purchase it or not. This is great for customers due to the fact that all of our sales are final. Our sales are final because when we, we give you the source code when you purchase the template, and once we give you the source code, there is really no way that you can return the code. If you'd like to test out our demos for multiple days, you are free to do so. All you have to do is leave the database open so that the data you enter will not be wiped. That is because our demos are designed so that once you close the demo, all the data that you have entered will be wiped from that database. You have to purchase the full version if you would like to save your data that you have entered. Upon downloading a demo for one of our templates, you will have to unzip the downloadable file. Zip files make it much easier to send and download large files over the web. Unzipping a file is a very simple step. All you have to do is extract the file so that you have access to the uncompressed file. If you do not know how or do not understand how to unzip a file, check out our YouTube channel and watch the How to Unzip One of Our Files video tutorial to learn this simple step. The link to that video will be in the description of this video. So now, let us get into downloading and testing out one of our templates. We're going to start off here by going to our website at microsoftaccessexpert.com. As you can see, I have been here before. On the top of our website, there's going to be a toolbar with all the various ways that you are able to contact Winning Solutions, Inc. You're going to want to click on the sidebar button on the left side of our homepage that is labeled Database Templates for Sale. A sublist then opens up and you need to select the Database Templates List button to view the list of all of our templates that we offer. The list is broken up into categories. The different categories that we currently have are our most popular ones, appointment and scheduling databases, calendars databases, reservations and booking databases, contact and communications databases, task management databases, equipment and maintenance tracking databases, sales databases, employee databases, education databases, small business databases, and last but not least, database tools and miscellaneous templates. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Enhanced Work Order Management Database Template. 
So if you go down towards the bottom underneath our database tools and miscellaneous templates, you're going to see the Enhanced Work Order Management Database. Go ahead and click that. Once that web page opens, go down to the Download a Demonstration section and download a demo that correctly corresponds with the current version of Microsoft Access that your computer is running on. I'm going to download this one. Once it downloads, I'm going to open the file. And the file is zipped up, so you're going to need to extract all the contents of the file before you can open the file. Extract and extract all. Once you've extracted the file, go ahead and open it. And with all of our database templates, since they do come from the web, your computer views them as a potential security risk or warning. Now, I can assure you that this database template is safe, so I'm going to go ahead and continue on and open the file. And as always with our database templates, you also get this pop-up box just stating that this is a demo version of the database template. Therefore, none of the data or information you enter in this database template will be stored. However, if you want to store the information, you will need to purchase the full version of the database template. This pop-up box also has all the different ways that you can contact us. Feel free to contact us whenever you'd like. I'm going to close out of this for now. So this is the work order management database template. Um, the reason why it's enhanced is because it also has a calendar function as well as a few new functionalities within it. It's a pretty detailed database and it's definitely a very powerful one. So to begin with, we're going to go ahead and we're going to create an employee to start. Go to the employees tab and hit add new employee. I'm just going to make one up for the sake of this demonstration. But as you can see, you can fill out a lot of information about your employees. You know, multiple phone numbers, their addresses, their email, their web page that they have on, their billing rates. You can even put in a picture of the employee, as well as as many notes as you want about them. We will not be putting in all that. We're just going to put in a little bit of information. And we'll put in a phone number too. Go ahead and hit on. As you can see here, now you can select a calendar color. So if I want this specific employee, if I have an appointment for him, I mean, sorry, a work order for him to show up as a specific color, you could set that here. We'll set one right now. We'll put green. And then now we're going to hit save and new. And as you can see, a new pop up box shows up to create another one. However, we just created one, so we're not going to make another employee. Go ahead and close out of this for now. And now you can use employees search for if you wanted to search for an employee you had. So if you had tons of employees and you wanted to quickly search through through all of them to find specific information about your employees, this would be perfect. Start typing in Blake and I'm the only one I've ever created. So I, this one shows up right away. And you can even double click this record if you wanted to show back up and you want to edit or add in some new information about them. So now we're going to go ahead and go to with the customers tab and we're going to add a customer. And so we're going to do the same thing once again, just create a fake customer, give them a phone number. And it's similar to the or employees tab, you can have a lot of information about them. Um, you can even put in, uh, pictures of them as well and notes and since they are a customer they can also have open work orders related to them. So if I had created a work order and it was uh, one for the test smith customer it would show up here. We do not have one for now so we're going to hit save and new. Same thing, a new one shows up, and now if I had a ton of customers, once again, I could quickly search through all of them and uh, to find out information or add in new work orders for them. So you can double click the record, once again, add or edit some information. And so now for the work orders part, we're going to go to work orders, hit add new work order, and this is the work art order. So now, and so now you can edit the date received, the date required who was entered by so we're gonna say it was entered by that uh, test employee I made Blake test um, as you can see the work order number automatically updates to 11 the customer ID uh, we're gonna leave that one blank actually um, date required we're gonna say let's say it's due by three we're gonna give it four days so we're gonna say the 28th of March Oops. there we go and we're gonna give it a purchase order number why not or I mean sorry a PO number um, we'll just give it one, two, three, and you can see for this work order, if you wanted to describe what the problem was or what the work order was, you could enter in all the information here. And so let's say you wanted to have it on a specific part. So there's a work order on your LCD panel. So it's $21.95. The quantity, you were going to say, let's say there's probably problems with two of them that we sold to someone. Um, the make, as you can see, that automatically updates down here the amount that's due. The make model, we're just going to say a test model, serial number 1234. Um, sales tax of, tax of 8%. You can see that automatically updates. And we're going to go to this labor part. So also, you can assign a technician to this specific work order. 
So let's say we want this Blake test one we made. Um, we never gave him a billing rate, so that's gonna we we can put in a billing rate in here though. So we can say he's a seven dollar billing rate, and it's gonna take him four hours. So as you can see, that uh, amount due updates because now we have a technician on the project, and it's gonna we have to pay the technician as well. And you can also put in payments for this work order. So let's say for this work order, um, the customer um, is going to pay cash. Payment date is he paid today. And let's say he paid all of it. So he paid $77.65. Obviously, if you didn't put in a payment, it would still be amount due, $75. But then, there we go. So now we can say that it's been paid for. And so now we can select a calendar color because we've put in dates for this. We're going to say it was light blue hit OK and so now when we go to that calendar function it is going to show up as this color and let's just give it a customer ID DSAF so there we go so now that we gave it a customer ID the amount due goes to zero because we said that, he, that the customer has paid cash on today 3-24 2017 and paid the exact amount so now if we hit save and new same thing new one shows up we've already made one though so we're gonna close out of this for now and so now we can also search for that work order. So we can search by the date received, the date required, the PO number, or the description. Um, let's see. I can't remember what I made. The PO number. I think it was 123. There we go. Yep, 123. So now I can double click this work order right here. As you can see, the date received was today. The date it was required by is the 28th. You can double click that record, and it shows back up, and you can edit any of this information. Close that for now. Go ahead and close this. So now we're going to go to this calendar. So if you click the calendar, so now the calendar shows up. And as you can see, it's in monthly view, but you can view the calendars in bi weekly, weekly, or daily view, or custom views, or even monthly and daily views. And so you can see there's that uh, work order that is due on the 28th. And you can even double click the record if you'd like. There we go. If you double click from the calendar, it shows back up right here. So you can open up that work order and add in or edit any information you'd like. So if you had multiple, you know, uh, multiple work orders, it'd be great to have this calendar because you could simply go to the calendar, see when those work orders are due by. Go ahead, close this for now. So this is a pretty detailed database. It can it can really do a lot, and it's pretty powerful. And it would be perfect for if you needed to keep track of all the work orders you have for your organization. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to thank you all for taking your time to watch this Microsoft Access Expert database template walkthrough brought to you by Winning Solutions Inc. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like or subscribe to our YouTube channel for tons of other walkthroughs and tutorials. As always, contact us for any of your IT needs. Either you need programming done, you need to develop a database, you want to buy a template, you want to customize a template, anything. Feel free to contact us whenever you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to post our contact information in the description below of this video. As always, you can also find us on about all social media platforms. Feel free to follow us or like us on any of those websites that we post quite frequently. Once again, thank you all for watching this Microsoft Access Expert database template walkthrough and have a great day.